Get a job. This is so natural. I Loved it. it. <laughs> Loved Get it. A job. Yeah, man. Twelve and sixty-five dollars, please. All about it. Man. This smells like goddamn Christmas cake. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Blind Wine Tastings. Once again, six wines. Big thank you as always to Sometimes Always for hooking us up with these drops. If you want 10% off the wines, you know what to do by now. We've got a link in the description down below to the Discord and we've got a code in there that'll give you 10% off each of these wines if you want to taste them for yourselves. And uh, speaking of pricing, question for you, what's your budget when you're buying wines? Like, are you like me? Because I tend to go for realistically quantity over quality most of the time. I'd probably rather have three decent bottles of wine rather than one excellent bottle of wine in most cases. Uh, I'll just drink the excellent bottles of wine at Brendan's house when he's paying for them. Let me know in the comments down below, are you someone who likes to flex out and buy one bougie bottle or do you want to make sure that there's enough to go around? Let us know either way. Without further ado, let's get in some tasting. Number one, if I could describe the color of this wine, it would be Wednesday. It's just a wine, you know? <laughs> Beautiful, uh, lifted, floral. It's not jumping out at me with, with oak or anything like that. I am thirsty. You ever have like a reasonable sized weekend and then you're like, oh man, I'm never drinking again. Except you roll it into work on a Monday morning to taste wines and you're like, surprisingly, I'm into this. Probably need to talk to someone about it. Um, Good palate shape, like really nice broad, clean, mildly textural, nice kind of mineral grip to it, which is weird. Acidity is nice and lively, nothing too over the top. What a great, pleasant little wine. Uh, is, is it like knocking my socks off? No, I, I don't think it's meant to be that. It's just a really, really well-made, classy wine. A little bit of batonage in that gives it that nice little textural interest. Yeah, hazelnutty, chestnutty, but flat, not exciting. And me personally, I'm looking for a bit of excitement in my life right now. 28 bucks, three bottles. If anyone's mad about that wine, they don't like wine. That's really it. Like it is a crowd pleaser in any which way. Moving on to wine number two, gorgeous golden hued number. Oh man, sitting very similar to the first wine too. Very, very similar. Yeah, just much more sort of like fresh cut flowers, a little bit of fruit going on there as well. Yeah, lots of, like I'm getting some carrot vibes here. It's really, carrot and celery, very interesting. It's got a good honey vibe to it. Uh, although quite muted, it's not as generous as the first one was. The first one wasn't even that generous. The second wine is more closed than a closed wine. Got this nice little bit of acidity to start out, but then the thing with acidity in wine is quite often it'll stick around too long and I'll still be feeling the acidity when it's getting down towards my stomach. That's not the case. It's got this really lovely smooth finish on it. Uh, yeah, really confusing. Have no, not a clue what it is, but very compelling, interesting wine. Really, really, really fun to play with some food on a summery spring afternoon. Oh, delightful. Great texture, great acid. I'd go for $28 and I'd buy three bottles. Use as cannon fodder amongst my mates who aren't into wine. So I'm gonna say it's only 35 bucks a bottle and I'll have six of them. Not the greatest wine that we've had, but a big improvement over wine number one, so. Number three, red wine. I just really like wines like this, which are just all overt blueberry. None of this sort of stewed fruits, none of this sort of dark chocolate or anything like that. That's really interesting. So that is quite often on the show, we talk about like medium body, medium weight being sort of like that Goldilocks area of red wine, where it's sort of like that Pinot style where there is a bit of structure there, but also it's got that really fruit flavor. Got some tang to it. It's got great acidity, some decent texture. Um, got some really savory characters there. Got that kind of GSM-y thing. Taro. I'm gonna go with Taro. That's staying with me. I reckon that's gamma. That's a cracker. That's an absolute cracker. It's got the confected characters that I would expect out of something that's, you know, light and floral. Has a, a, a cool astringent tannin, but it's not too present. It's present, but it's not too much. I think it's more present than, say, something like a Grenache would be. Really good. A little bit of tannin as well. And if Gordon Ramsay here, he'd be like, this is an exciting one. This is stimulating. This is exactly what you want. And then he'd swear at someone. But for me, I'm just like, yeah, cool. Like it. The acid's really nice, quite like, Lively. Yum. 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 I'm into it. Uh, like 50 bucks a bottle and 12. Yeah. Hands down. Fucking amazing one. All right. Wine number four. Lemon squash. Ooh, bubbles. I reckon this is a pet nap. Fuck, that smells natural. Ooh, man. Popping off some weird smells today here, Lachlan. Interesting. High acid. Lean. Driven. Super mineral. Bang! That is like really, 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 really tight. The oak actually provides a little bit of relief from the acidity, which is fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I don't even know if it's, it's not even a pet nut. It's just got bubbles in it because it's so, like it's just been sitting in that bottle waiting to get out and it's like fermenting in the bottle sort of thing. That's flat out fucking Christmas cake. What the hell is going on there? Acidity's great. Tannin's interesting, like nice kind of fine. 
like the structural phenolic grip progressive take on a classic style um, is probably where I'd, I'd place this. I'm gonna drop like $65 and I buy 12. I think that's really cool. One number five, red again. Similar look to the last one. This is not Merlot Blanc. If anything, it's gonna be Merlot Merlot. Merlot Rouge, as we call it in the business. Yeah, look, sounds, it smells, tastes like Aussie Shiraz, but like handled well, not too rich, not too opulent, but definitely Aussie Shiraz, decent amount of oak, uh, good fresh acidity. Wow, wow, I'm even salivating. I'm not too sure what it is. I mean, I mean, not too sure. My gut feeling is Grenache, but it's really well made. It's got a bit of tannin to it, so I'm leaning away from Pinot. I think it's just a really fruity Syrah, which I'm into. And it does have this sort of little peppery finish on the back end. So I'm gonna say, yeah, Young Syrah, which is a terrible rap name. It's a bit oak dominant for me because that butterscotchy thing is a little bit too dominant. It's still quite pleasant. I reckon it's, uh, it almost reminds me of McLaren Bale again. It could almost, almost be Barossa. 40 bucks a bottle. And that's my first dozen of the week. Really into it. Rosé. We all love a good rosé. Let's see where this one's standing. Good, clean, fresh, lifted. For me, my ideal rosé is probably a slightly paler pink colour. This is a little bit too artificial for my liking. Not saying that it is artificial, it's just like, that doesn't look like something that's come from nature. It's too perfect. More on that Rosado, Spanish, Italian style rosé. Wish I had a little bit more acidity, but it's very, very easy to drink. We could have gotten maybe a little bit more flavor, like a little bit more density, a little bit more weight. I think this this tells me that well-made wine, very cold year, potentially European. Also, there's a little floaty boy in there. Is that, thing? Is that the cork? Not your winemaker's problem. Uh, we need to get a better sommelier. Lockie's put cork in this That's wine. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grip my teeth and see if I can get some wine through all the bloody dust that Lockie's putting in. Trying to poison us. It's a very pleasant drink and would be very, very good fun with food. Is it captivating? No. Does it need to be? No. Should it be served in pints? Yes. It's a bit light on. It's a bit nothing. It probably goes down like water, but um, I'm looking for a bit more intrigue, a bit more interest. There was a missed opportunity here for more flavor. Yeah, that's sick. That is really refreshing. Almost my perfect rosé in terms of flavor. Sorry about telling you that it doesn't smell nice, winemaker. Tastes hey, delicious, which is really what we're here for. Yeah, really yum, rosé. But I want 12 of them because it's delicious and I'll have it for 38 bucks a bottle. I haven't guessed 38 this week and there's always a $38 bottle of wine in the lineup, but uh, job guys, nice wines. Uh, let's see what the other boys think. Another six wines. Yep. This is a roller coaster. Oh really? I bought a lot of wine. I bought, I oh wow. You I, bought a I, lot of time. wine. Yeah, yeah, I had good time. I bought like no wine. Yeah, I was yeah. very meh on a this lot of This was so mid. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. It's just the middest lineup we've had in so long. Not nah. Yeah, there's a couple of it I drink a fair bit of, but uh, not the first oh, one. No, the first one. First one was straight up does for me. And like 40 bucks. Loved it. Thought it was great. This was just a very, it's just the definition of Wednesday. It is just, it is refreshing. It is a neutral white wine with zero oak, zero like <laughs> secondary characters, uh, zero in drinkability apparently in quarter. I think it's stale. Yeah. You guys went on it? No, nah, I wanted one bottle for 30 bucks. I, I, want, I wanted three for 28, 12 for 40. What the hell? Into it. Big okay. fan. Um, Big fan. How much does it cost? Yeah, yeah. so it's 30 bucks. And, um, that's Shannon. Shannon Blanc. Shannon Blanc from the hills. There you go. Shannon at my house this Christmas. You want some? Uh, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. That was pretty cool. It's it's, it's fine. It's fine. Like I, you know, like you know, everyone like it's just not what I'd reach for in Shannon. And so it's unoaked. Like it's not got the kind of texture that I'm looking for. It's not got the like real nutty thing. The almond thing there is, but it's like yeah, mm, yeah, not for me. I, I look. I love Jericho. I think they're a fucking great wine brand. Um, I think I make some really good stuff. I, I just wasn't in this, into this today. Mm. I don't care about Jericho and I didn't like this wine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, wine number two. I was more into this. More interesting, more exciting in a lot of ways than the first one that we had. This I, was interesting. I, I the exact opposite thing. I reckon right. this is getting first wine bias of the day because the next one I was like, that's a more boring version of that. No, but I was thirsty. I wanted the first wine to be cool and it wasn't. I wanted three for 42. Uh, three for 28. 37. Man. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, right. In the slot. Give me that price is right, though. Suave. Suave. I called Suave! Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Garganiga. Yeah, yeah Garganiga. Yeah, Spot on. How good. 100%. I'm pretty happy with myself. Though. That's a wine I'm not going to guess. Ah, uh, good. I, I'm glad. It was, it, like, when I smelt this, I'm like, this, there's something in my brain that is just triggering something. That I'm like, it's like it's, I know what this is. I know what this is. And now I know what it is now. Cool. I might be able to just memorize that now. I think we've tried this one before. Give me three. Wine number three. All this was it. cool. 
cool. Yeah, I love it. This I is love cool. it. They're just meh again. Like it's just like it reminds me of like McLaren or Mataro or something like that. It's like it's delicious. It's really well made. It's got the spicy thing. It's juicy, but it's just like it's, I'm not gonna oh, sing. Smells about. so good. It smells, it smells like so jam. Good. Yeah, nine for sixty-eight dollars. Oh, totally nine for nine for sixty-eight. Yeah, sixty-eight dollars. Uh, Twelve for fifty. Uh, three for thirty-three. Five. Yeah. All right. Oh. Hither and yon. yon. Oh, I, see, I think McLaren. this is Sarah. Is this Syrah? I think it's Syrah. It's a really good Syrah, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Syrah uh, yeah. from the Adelaide Hill. Wow. Yeah, it definitely feels like Adelaide Hill's fruit made by a McLaren Bell wine. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like yeah. It's yeah, got yeah, this yeah. kind of like like meaty, gamey, like, like richness uh, rather than this like kind of like blue fruited, pretty floral thing. It's a very well I think, made I think wine. they great Adelaide Hill Syrah and made it like Grenache. Like yeah, 100%. Just, yeah, and I love like a little bit of a uh, tidbit there is that artwork is Damien Coulthard, yeah, amazing course. indigenous artist. Oh, cool. Number four. Get a job. This is so natural. I Loved it. Work. Loved Get it. A job. Yeah, man. 12 and $65, please. All about it. Man. This smells like goddamn Christmas cake. I've you're had, right? I've had it's like- It's like pure like, my, like grandma's pudding. Fuck, you're right. It it's does. so like glacé cherries and ginger spice. Yeah. It is weird ass. No, that's in. one for 25. Dude, Whoa, hated, hated it. it. Yeah, hated it. It was not, not a bad. Yeah, fair. Uh, I went three for 40. 40. Murak, Shadi, hell yeah. Well We're loving his wines. Yeah, he's loving just, his yeah, wines. He's just a really good. Kerry Gully, Shadi, wow. Yeah. Um, That's really interesting. I mean, look, he's just. He continues to be one of the greats. Uh, I, I think he's not one. Mm. We can kind of graduate him from the like uh, best young winemakers to just best wine Good winemakers. He's, yeah, he's yeah, just he's... one of the greats at the minute. Uh, and this is uh, look. It's very interesting. It's very curious. It's n I would have never picked Adelaide Hills Chardonnay I for the nah. life of me. It's so European. It's not funny. But it's really cool. It's too interesting for me, is what it is. Like, it's cool, but like, no. Nah. You just wouldn't get it. I just wouldn't, like, yeah, like, I don't get it. Yeah, you need, it's like kid A. You've got to meet this guy, though. He Dude, is he's the, the nicest dude. guy. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> Here we go. Back on. Yeah. Loved it. Uh, young Syrah, this one is. Uh, I called the exact same thing, too. Yeah. I, I, Y U N G. Mixtape dropping soon. <laughs> 33. Uh, really good wine. Wasn't just like stoked on it. Uh, 45 and 12. Hey, dozens. Yeah, Let's go. Them. Uh, yeah. I think that's really good that's value. That's great value. What is this? Brossa. Sick. Mataro Shiraz. That is the tastiest Mataro I've tried. That's really good. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, this is this is a yeah this is a crowd pleasing wild. This is like it, honestly, this is the perfect thing of like that old school style done by these like kind yeah. of a bit more modern producer and Ben Chipman. Nice, nice dude. Is good. Uh, they can't all be the nicest. I know. It's, it's just he's, he's up there. One he's day we have to find a <laughs> one. Um, no, hey guys. that's cool. Um, I want the name of the wine. Skullduggery. We should use this term, Skullduggery. I need to get close. Oh, like below. God, I cannot read that. We need, wait, would you want to go to Specsavers after this? No, no, no. <laughs> that just looks like the sort of thing that someone would have And back. now we're going to talk to you about today's sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three pairs for 189 complete. Um, moving on to wine number six. This was shit. You're an idiot. This was meh. Yeah, meh is an understatement. You're this less is, of an idiot. This could have just been better. Hmm. Like, it could have had more expression, it could have had, and I'm so sorry for the harshness, but it needs like, Ooh, yeah. it need, needs to be some sort of inherent mid-palate interest. For the mid-palate, I found it just, there was, and yeah. that could be the variety, it could be like a Cabernet. It could be just hollow and middle. Cab like, Rose, fuck yeah. Yeah, but um, 18 bucks and one. Oh, savage. Uh, 25 and six. 38 and 12. That's that inflation, baby. It's gonna be a friend of mine. No, it's not, it's from France, it's all good, bro. Oh, sorry. Vin Rose. <laughs> Vin de France. You know, uh, no regrets. I feel like I know this producer, and I feel like this is their like really entry level. Yeah, this is um, Pinot Denise Gamay Cab Franc. Cork's no good. Uh, maybe that was just lucky. That's what I said. <laughs> 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 nah, so uh, no nah, lucky's good. Yeah, little twin top cork as well. Um, so it is like this has been bottled on the cheap, mate. I would uh, suspect. Oh yeah, very look, much made on the cheap. I think well. the, this is one of those producers but that has high. It's, it's how much? Forty-one dollars. Yeah, it's yeah. It's an, it's an import, bro. It's an import. <laughs> it's the cheapest possible cork you can put in a bottle. That is literally the cheapest oh, wow. possible cork yeah. you can buy to put in a bottle. It, it's one of the cheapest bottles. It's one of the cheapest oh, labels. That's what you mean by twin top. So it's got like topping there and then just filler in the middle. Yeah, but if that's landed here and then just the markup, markup, markup between importer to importer to wholesaler, wholesaler oh, to retailer, and then it ends up being. Well. Oh, come on, man. On that, uh, wine of the week. I think this Skullduggery is probably going to have to be the one. I think that was the, the, the most 
democratic one. Mm. Uh, and and how, I, how do you make Mataro taste really good? Put Put it it and some and some lashings of oak. A lot of oak in there yeah. as well. <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, one for your dad and for you too. Yeah, true. That fits or your mum or your sister, brother, other half, significant other half. Just don't give it to your dog. Wine, it's not for dogs. <laughs> it's a public yeah. service announcement. The more you know. Anyway, guys, <laughs> talk to you next week. Catch you there. First tasting of the day. What's going to go from here? <laughs>